In a highly publicized speech at the Reagan Library Tuesday night, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie sounded every bit the presidential candidate, lashing out at President Barack Obama and praising Republican icon Ronald Reagan. When there is a problem, you fix it. That's what you do. That's what he did. That's the job we've been sent to do, and you cannot wait for someone else to do it when you're sitting in the Oval Office. Still, Christie has said repeatedly he's not seeking the Oval Office, at least not this time around. And Tuesday night, responding to a question from the audience... Are you reconsidering or are you standing firm? He insisted those denials still stand. Everyone go to politico.com. It's right on the front page. I'm not going to bore you with it now. Click on it. Those are the answers. No, I'm I'm not running. I'm 100% certain I'm not going to run. I don't want to run. I don't feel like I'm ready to run. With declarations like that, why won't the Christie buzz die down? This happens every political cycle. The the parties, activists start to worry that the people in the field aren't the right candidates, so they start to dream about somebody else who they think can just swoop in and, and will be the perfect candidate. It just doesn't really ever happen. It's really hard, even for the strongest candidate, to survive uh, a late entrance like that. And if you're Chris Christie with a possible eye on 2016, the publicity certainly doesn't hurt. By virtue of the fact that so many people are talking about him as a potential presidential candidate, when the time comes in 2016 or perhaps down the road, he really does want to uh, get in and run a presidential race. He'll have uh, greater name recognition and he'll be seen as somebody who's, who's very strong, got lots of potential. And Christie's not the only GOP figure stirring speculation among Republican voters. Sarah Palin has been coy for months, starting and then stopping a bus tour and hitting states for campaign-style events in Iowa and New Hampshire. She has more of a reason to stretch out the speculation. She's basically a television pundit at this point. Once she says she's not running, she really diminishes her stature as a public figure. But the speculation stretch can't last forever. Some key states, like Florida and South Carolina have candidate filing deadlines to get on the ballots by the 1st of November. Kelly Daschle, Associated Press.